Well, a four-year-old boy with some special needs had his day made this weekend thanks to none other than Santa. A special interaction happened between the two of them at Glenbrook Square Mall. Wayne 15's Michael Coon caught up with the boy and his family in Kendallville, and you have more on the heartwarming story this morning. Yeah, I spent about an hour with him yesterday morning, and I can't even explain to you in words just how cute Austin was. He was full of life, excitement, and giggles. But instead of telling you about it, I'll just let you see for yourself. Meet Austin Mainers. He's four years old, loves Paw Patrol, and can light up a room in a second. And though he wears a smile much of the time, his young life hasn't been easy. His first couple years he spent in um, the hospital on and off. As you can see, Austin has no shame about his feeding tube ports. Mom Bess Salzbrenner explained that Austin was born without a suck, swallow, breathe reflex. He had issues breathing when he ate and he had aspiration. He'd always be in the hospital with pneumonia. After years of doctor visits and therapy, Austin finally got approval to start eating food again just a few months ago. I can eat now. Austin still relies on his feeding tube for much of his hydration and nutrition, but it was a big moment for him and his family, one that his mom wanted to commemorate with a picture. So like many other kids, Austin and his sister Gracie went to Glenbrook Mall for a picture with Santa. I thought it'd be a good way to have like a memorial picture. Unfortunately, it didn't start out the way she had hoped. Austin has autism and was getting overwhelmed by the large crowds. That's when Santa's helpers stepped in. And they saw that he was stressed out in the line and they let us go right to the front. Santa snapped these pictures with Austin and Gracie, but the interaction didn't stop there. Salzbrenner asked if Santa would do something special. What do you feed you? Formula. Formula. <laughs> and that's when this photo happened. It was like magical. Like he was sharing his cookies and helping him with his milk. And I could tell he was nervous because he was shaking, but he still, he stood there and waited for the pictures to be done, and he wasn't even rushing it. Salzbrenner said she didn't have a chance to thank Santa in the quick moment, but she wants to say it now for all to hear. I just want to hug him and tell him thank you for that picture. It's an amazing picture. We'll cherish forever. Now, we did try to get in contact with the Santa involved in this story, but didn't have any luck. He must have been busy making a list and checking it twice. Now, guys, what's really special about this story is the reaction to it since uh, it was posted. Uh, Beth Salzbringer, the mom, posted that picture on Facebook on Sunday at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And already, i got to get this right, <laughs> it's been shared 35,000 times mm -hmm. and has 74,000 mm -hmm. reactions and counting. Well, it's clearly, it's an emotional photo and it just touches you right at the core and at the heart and so I, I'm not surprised by that reaction. Well, and the mom told me too that she's really happy that this is bringing some awareness to other kids that have feeding tubes and, and other special needs. and that they need just as much love as anybody else with Santa. And once you see the beautiful backstory behind it, it's going to get a lot more clicks. So I hope so. Great job telling us that story. Thank you, Michael.